G'day folks, hope you're all doing well. So I have decided to do something a little bit different that I have never ever done before on this channel as I was inspired by the LEGO YouTuber Jane Bricks to do this type of video where I showcase what I have been working on in the BrickLink Studio software. So, as you can see right here, this is my Mills Railway Crossing, which Mills is short for Modular Integrated Landscaping System. And this is sort of how it sort of started, and I have built this in person as well. But, like, this is just sort of like, like me working out how I want to do it, and I'm and I'm been using the uh, 9 volt track, which is what I am using. And this looks all good, but this is how it looks now. This is my finished. So I sort of did a bit of an upgrade. So it's still the same design, still using the same no fault tracks, same road plates, which is the current ones that replaced the old road plates, you know. So <laughs> this has about up to about 45 steps. I have made for the instructions, so there's about 45 because there's like a lot of bricks here. So basically, I just lifted it up one stud up higher. So this is no longer mills, it's now. A SMILS, S-M-I-L-S, and SMILS is short for SIDLUG Modular Integrated Landscaping System. And SIDLUG is a Sydney LEGO users group that I have joined back in June last year, being 2023. And someone suggested that I SMILS it, so, which I sort of done. So, the plan is, like, that's, so that's sort of the plan. So, I have used, like, the 4x4 tiles here, for even here as well at the end. So this is where the road is going to be like a T intersection or maybe an extra one of these but without the railway crossing. I've got these select plates here. I know it probably would be better if I just had the one but I just thought it would be easier with two because just that, you know, if you have like two mini figures side by side, you know, or it's got the jumper plates so I can put the mini figures on. So these are like the tiles like for the edge of the roads. I mean I could have like the tiles here and then you know, but I just sort of do it this way, and I could, I'm thinking, like, I don't know if I should have, like, one of these, like, on the end here, like, um, let me just see how it goes, just gonna give me a second, so, if I just remove that, and then, oops, and then remove that, and then if I do get another one of these, and put that, like, there, hmm, and then let me just do the same on the other side, like, this is just, I'm still, like, figuring it out, oh, like, okay, let's see how it, hmm, I mean, that does look somewhat okay, but that makes it a bit too long, in my opinion, so, yeah, uh, I mean, it's just a, yeah, I don't, I'm going to put it back to how I had it, like this, because it just looks a little bit better. I mean, anyone's probably got their own opinion, but I mean, I'm happy with feedback in the uh, comments, but so yeah, these slopes can be here, here for people for the minifigures to cross the road here and the train line as well. That's why I use slopes, because otherwise, you know, so this is like the edge. It always can be like a signal, like for the cars from driving riding across the road, but there may not be one for the pedestrians, because it may be a bit hard. But where I'm going to be having the signals can be like about roughly not on where. Sorry, but that my dad, my dad, into my camera. I'll be jumping to edit it out. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yeah, this is like where I guess I won't go there. If I go like the signal that I've got won't be going on this where I've got this tile because if I'm going to be running an eight car train or there, if there's going to be any eight car train running. You know, it will be hitting the signal, so it will be like play one stud back, which will make it a lot easier. So, but yeah, I kind of like the way I've kind of designed it. Like, I know it's gonna be quite expensive for me to like buy a lot of like all these Lego pieces to raise it up higher. I mean, it's still a work in progress, but it just the only reason why I decided to raise it up by once is that just that for when I go to Lego show, it's like Brick Belt, which is coming up in. On the 17th, 18th, and 19th of May, which you should definitely attend. <laughs> but do a bit of a promotion there. Uh, I'm trying this one, I'm trying to raise it up high, trying to do a bit more work on it. Of course, I need to do a lot more work on, on my city, raising my buildings up and whatnot. So, so basically, the plan is to have You'll like. You need to unlock your iPhone first. 
<laughs> Stevie. <laughs> Hi, actually, very much, Stevie. So, this can be at the end. So, the stations can be like sort of on this side, and it can be like another building here. I think maybe like an intersection. Uh, I'm not sure what, how I'm going to work do it at the moment. I know I could do more work, which I will probably figure out how I'm going to be doing it. You know, with curve place and whatnot. You know, so yeah. So happy, like what I have done at the moment. So yeah, I'm quite happy again, as I said, with what I've um, done and everything. So, but it's still a work in progress with to do with um, you know with building it in person and whatnot. You know, so anyway, folks, come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please um, let me know in the comments down below. We'll give you also give you a thumbs up while you're at it. So as I said, I'm happy with any feedback on how I've done this. Like, I mean, as I said, I mean, I yeah, quite happy. To, I'm not going to add like the technique pins in the here, but the but there won't be any at the end here. Mainly at at the end here. I know I should add like maybe one by four tiles here, but I think this way I'm going to have like one of these one, two by two, sorry, two by four tiles at the end to connect it to the other part. You know, so. <clears throat> the well, my, my socials being my Twitter, Instagram, and the Discord that I'm partnered with is always in the description, which I don't know why I keep saying that. But yeah, so like, you know, I'm happy to for some suggestions, maybe like with these curves. Like, I'm thinking of having some curved plates here, but I'm not sure if that collapses, which I'm not sure if I can get any of that. I mean, I could even use the two by uh, not these, I mean, instead of using these ones, like. I also got the, like the, not that one, it's the, I have got these, it's the 2x4 slopes, which I do have, which I might probably use instead of these ones, which is for, I've only got four, so I can maybe replace them with, to get maybe, so I've only got four, so I need four, I do here, there, three, four, but I need two more, and then, you know, but I can always join it with the other, Folks, that from the seed like group, that my, a friend of mine keep calling me while I'm recording a video. <laughs> but, but yeah, bro, he doesn't want to give up. I'm trying to record a video. Oh goodness, <laughs> sorry, sorry if you heard that. I should be reading him. But anyways, um, anyways, but yeah. So I don't know. I may do another video. Um, when I do some more work, okay, maybe adding some more throws to it. And probably like the T intersection, or maybe some more extension to it, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah, so that's all for me, and I'll catch you for in the next Lego video that I will be posting on this channel. This is the Aussie Lego dude, also another feel, signing off. Bye!